look for is these angles right here. These form how they make a Y. Yeah. And the club. Right here still make a Y. So we got Bill. There's Bill's arm from Warren. And we're already starting to change that into more of an I on its way up to a to the L. Here we can see how high your left shoulder is, and it's almost like it's turning your head back. Versus here with Tiger, we're going to see how that left shoulder gets steeper. First, his turn is more this way, yeah, with his left shoulder down. So, and what that does is that makes the club head go up, and what goes up on the down swing will come down. So what Bill's doing when you swing it rotary like that? When your left arm is going up rather than the club, now the club's going to approach somewhat kind of low. That's what gives you the pin or the, just a little skip of the club into the ball fire too. Versus with Tiger here, we're going to see because it's up higher that we're able to strike more down on the ball. Here you can really see where his bottom is. And where's my bottom? This one here is pretty good. You see where that divot starts. You know, here we unfortunately can't take a divot. But that one's pretty good. But you can already see how quickly your club's on the ascent to set the break in the left trim and a little bit of the weight back down the right side. So here we, with Tiger, we can see a whole lot more hip rotation. Oh, yeah. That one. Yeah, it's going out. And that's not flexibility, that's just still stopping. And when you do that, your weight's going to stay put for a minute. Thank you. 
for you to hit the ball, which is why you stop your lower body. I mean, so right here we can see that right foot is flat on the ground versus what we do here. You just start to play. When you go through without any turn, and right there is where someone jabs you in the back, and you say, well, I better release my right foot. I don't care something. And then we get into a pretty good finish. Uh-huh. 